In this car, we have been troubleshooting a parasitic load. Something is killing the battery after a couple of days. So we found out what it was. We'll show you how you could possibly troubleshoot it yourself and find the problem. Let's disconnect the positive terminal. So we can go ahead and get started testing. We have our clamp meter. This clamp meter does AC and DC current. So now let's go ahead and turn on the light. Okay, it's set for DC current measurement. Let's go ahead and zero it. We put this over the negative lead. It doesn't really matter if you have it over negative or positive. It'll still read the current just fine. So, what do we have here? Okay, let's hit the relative button again. Okay, notice it's got a current reading of 0.74, even with no load, meaning no positive battery terminal attached. So, that's obviously wrong. So, in this case, we'll just hit the relative reading button to zero it. On your DC or clamp meter, there should be a zero button. This one doesn't. So we use the relative button basically to zero it. So we're showing zero current draw. And here, we're going to go hook up the positive battery terminal. You're going to see the current reading surge, and then it's going to stabilize down again. A little sparking on the terminal. Went up to oh, maybe as high as half an amp. So now, Effectively, there is nothing draining the battery at only 0 0.05 amps. That's pretty much nothing. And what we did, see, originally when we hooked up the clamp meter and attached the positive battery terminal, we found that there was about a quarter amp, or 250 milliamps draw, or 0.25. And the reason for that was we found out that there was a short in the radio that was pulling that amount of current. When we went ahead and started pulling out fuses in the fuse block, we pulled each and every fuse, and each time we pulled a fuse, we looked at the meter reading and just saw if the 0.25 reading went down to just about zero. When we went ahead and pulled a fuse for the radio, this 10 amp here, once we pulled this fuse out, we noticed that the reading it went down to about zero, like 0.04, like you see now. And basically that told us that the radio was the thing that was draining down the battery. And when we went ahead and replaced the radio with another factory original model, same model, the current draw was, was normal at that point. And it's been a couple of days and we've not had any dead battery. I hope this troubleshooting tip helps. Thank you for watching. Take care.